Yeah, hello everybody. I'm going to uh, do a quick comparison slash unboxing of the new Robotis XL430 W250 slash T servos. Show them right here. Diamond Excel. Okay, this, these are the beta version. <clears throat> so, there may be a little bit of changes between now and the beta version uh, to the production version. We'll see. Okay, so I got two beta versions of the servos, a pre production version of the servos, so some beta testing. So, I, I figured I'd do a real quick video rundown of what I got, differences. Um, <clears throat> I don't know the prices. I've had questions so far about price and the other big one is is this the direct replacement for the AX12 plus <clears throat> I do not know the price um, just contact your your robotics representative or distributor maybe they would know I think these are the replacement for the eventual replacement for the Excel AX 12s and AX 18s, but I cannot verify this at this time. <clears throat> As you can see, they're very similar in size. Now, the mounting brackets seem to be different. I had originally thought that the existing bioloid brackets would not connect up with the servo but after doing some experimentation let me show you very typical bioloid bracket so the the brackets do match up with the horns I don't know if you can see it but I can see the the holes matching up so and the other thing is is that the, on the AX12 of course you have the free spinning side and the powered side a little bit of oh what am I doing so here you go that was the AX12 I'm sorry this is the the new servo and you can see how the horns are matching up with the bioloy brackets I was trying to show some comparisons there so that's a bioloy bracket same basic size how it fits pretty easily on the AX12 even with the three and the three spinning side now this one has a free spinning servo horn for the other side. It's built into the servo, unlike the uh, AX12. So you basically screw it in with this screw right here into there. Now if you'll see, the free spinning side matches up almost perfectly. So yes you can uh, it's my 3d printed version so yes you can use the existing i'm not sure <clears throat> you can use all of them well, it looks like you can use the existing bioloid bracket system but a twist <clears throat> there'll be some places you can use them, but also you've got these interesting mounts here on the side here. Which, okay, I'll, I'll show you, try to show you here in comparison. See how you have the side mounts here for the screws? So I think of what they've done is, is that you can allow, you can attach here to the top and here too. On the sides, here's your mounting holes. So you have the ability to mount brackets on all the sides. I'm just making some assumptions, but that's what it looks like to me. That that yes, this is probably going to eventually be the replace, replacement for the AX-12s and AX-18s. 
with a different mounting and bracketing with different mounting and bracketing possibilities but you can still use the existing brackets from the AX12 so if I had 18 XL 430s I think I could uh, put together maybe with some little variation with some work I could put together a Byloid humanoid robot with the XL 430s but I have only two right now so I can just experiment with the different brackets and I will as I'm beta testing and trying to figure out how these brackets work and so on I will post more videos and pictures um, it has the standard three pin servo connection Make sure I do this right. Just pops right in there. So that looks like the very the standard three pin, three pin. I probably ought to try this so you can. So you can, it looks like you can hook up 12s and uh, XL 430s together. So I'll have to try that, I'll have to try that out. So I might hook it up to CM 530s and see if it recognizes it and so on. Because it looks like it should. And these are daisy chainable, like the AX 12s. They also have this new feature, it's like an LED light, which always makes things cooler that uh, uh, have an LED. This is very similar to how the... Oh man, I can't remember exactly where the LED light is on the... on these little servos. Different pin connections. So. These are the, the smaller smaller uh, uh, Darwin mini servos so like this is your free spinning side which is a little bit different connect it up the this is the regular Phillips screwdriver from Probatus so everything seems to be very compatible with it Let me show you some of the screws I got in the bracketing system. This is the wire protection. I'll have to hook these things together and this is spacers and so on. So before I get too long in the video, this is just a quick rundown showing the difference between the uh, XL 430s and the AX 12s. Looks like they're they're different, but very similar in a lot of ways. You use the standard brackets, you use the same screws, you use the same connections. So everything should hook up really well. So as I continue to work with the XL 430s, I'll post more videos and more of what I'm doing. But just do, do a quick one down of what's going on. So. If you have any questions and uh, any comments or want to know more about what the XL430 is and the differences and how to use it, feel free to comment on this video. Send me a message, Facebook, Google Plus, or send me an email, and I'll try to answer the questions in future videos. So, thanks for watching.